Uh, uh, what a do, ugly dude. I've tried to record this video like five different times now, but like the audio keeps corrupting, bro. So we're going to try this again. Hoorah. Let's just jump right back in. We're talking about the time I got smacked by a car. No, me, ne no, my God. No reason to beat around the bush. Just jump right in. So this story takes place mid-2016, all right? And uh, I had this little red moped at the time. That my pops bought for 200 bucks because uh, this dude he knew ended up buying it for his son. But his son was like, no, daddy, I don't want a moped. I want a car. With his little spoiled ass. So his dad was like, all right, I'm going to put the moped in the garage. I'll get you a car. So he gets his son a car. The moped sits for like two years. My dad gets the moped and uh, we went over and get it. And he's like, probably just needs a battery. It did just need a battery. We ended up taking it home, getting a battery and a spark plug, and then uh, it was a good moped. So jump five months. I know it's a little farther in advance, but you know, that's just a little bit of backstory. So my moped's fine, bro. I've been whipping this thing around for like five months now. It's not the first thing like I've like drove. Like my dad taught me how to like, drive like one of those big Chevy white vans. That's what he like like taught me how to drive in. But this was like the first thing like I've ever like I've ventured out on myself on, you know what I mean? So, I got in a lot of shenanigans on this moped. Uh, Pete, my other videos on that. Hey, shameless plug. Yeah. Anyways. And, uh, so, on this fine day, it was summer vacation. I was hitting everybody up, and I was on Snapchat, texting everybody. Nobody hit me up, except my buddy that we're going to call him John. Now, John was like, I have, I'm chilling with this other dude, but I'm going to head to the skate park. He wanted to, like, come down and chill, and I'm like, all right, bet. So, uh, in my moped seat, I threw a 2.5 bag, some raw cones, like two, like two gram, one, two, one gram raw cones. Uh, my, uh, my phone, because, like, my, I was, like, wearing some, like, uh, like, sweatpants. I didn't want to fall in my pocket. So, I threw my phone in the seat, my wallet, and then, uh, I feel like I'm, like, I'm forgetting something. God damn. No, I think that was it. So, I closed the seat. I started heading on the way. Now, when we get down there, it was like a four-lane road, and it's like 45 miles an hour on this road. So you already know, that means cars are going like 65 on this road. I'm on a moped. It's topped out at 40, bro. 45 if I'm going downhill, you know what I mean? So everybody would get mad at me because I would stay in the lane that I needed to be in because nobody would let me over, and yet alone if I did get over, everybody would like damn near kill me when I did get over, you know what I'm saying? So everybody can just get around me, bro. If I need to turn left, I'm staying in that left lane. I don't care if it's five miles down the road, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, like kiss my ass. So that's what I ended up doing, bro. So I eventually made it to the destination after many people blowing their like horns at me and shit. I know it's a dick move, but I'm tired of almost getting fucking killed trying to get over and not being able to get over and miss my turn just because like people don't want to let me over, you know what I mean? And, um, so I finally get to the park. I ride it up through the grass to get up there. Everybody's up there chilling. It's fat. Now, uh, there's like six or seven homeless dudes that would like, uh, always stay up there at the park. And like, people would look out for them up there. And then like, uh, they would like lay roaches and shit on like the, the wall of the skate park and like, Beers that, like, they drink some beers that they didn't want to eat, like, the rest that they'd set in the wall, and some homeless dude come up and grab it. It was, like, a little ritual. So, my buddy's up there chilling, and, uh, I don't know if we even came up with a name for him yet, but we're gonna call him John. So, John's up there chilling, and, uh, his other, his, like, his homie that he was there with, like, uh, originally, he was, like, he's at the liquor store. But my buddy had a 30 case of some Coors Light. So, we just chilled there for, like, I don't know, maybe, like, two hours, bro. Uh, I ended up packing a little cone. I drank two Coors Light. I don't really be fucking with beers like that. I ain't drinking no uh, fucking Natty or Keystone or Bud or Bud Light or Budweiser or the hell they are. I'll drink like a Corona, maybe a Mandela, a Coors Light, and a Coors Banquet. I think that's what they call it. Other than that, bro, it's smearing off red, white, and blue or berries or fucking liquor all the way. So, um, I ended up just drinking two Coors Light, and uh, his buddy came back probably like an hour, maybe like 40 minutes later. He had like a like a big fifth of like mango vodka, so they was all excited, bro. There was a couple other dudes chilling with us, but they were irrelevant, bro. They were just like kind of like 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 NPCs, like 
extras to the story. So uh, they all start taking shots of this mango shit. And they're like, you want some? And I was like, nah, bro. I'm, I'm cool off these like little two cores already. I already got, already got a mission to go home like later. You know what I mean? And they're like, oh, yeah, that's, that's smart. That's smooth. That's smooth. So um, they all start like downing this shit. So my boy John, his girl texts him and she's like, yo, can you pick me up at McDonald's? Like, we're not picking up. Can you come down here and like walk and like walk up to the park with you? He's like, I got a better one. I'll send Jordan down. He can just swoop you on the back of the moped. So John was a little bit older than me, but he wasn't 21 to be drinking at the time, but I guess his homie was. So he just sent me to a picker up on the moped. So I was like, all right, that's cool, I guess. So um, we chilled for a little bit, smoked a little, smoked up a little more. I start heading down that way. So to get to this McDonald's, it is a one way on like the whole, it's a long road. The whole long road's one way. Hold on, coffee break. There's three ways to get on this road. But the two first ways, you're past the McDonald's. So you can't drive down the one way to get to it. So you had to go, I had to go a little bit out of the way to get to this McDonald's. As I got on the one way, Two minutes on, maybe, this Nissan Altima to the right of me swerved over between the car a little bit in front of him and me into my lane, slammed on his brakes. So I hit my, I'm like, I already hit my brakes. Then I really hit my brakes. I look in the mirror behind me. There is like a big vehicle barreling towards me, dude. All of a sudden, I feel him hit the back of my moped. And when they say like time slows down when shit happens, it really does, bro. I swear in my life. I felt myself fly over the top of my handlebars and my moped. I felt my my like my like my legs kind of get stuck somewhere on the the moped. The moped's like leaning down like on its side now. Like I'm like face first going towards the ground. I ended up just putting my hands over my face and my head, and I hit the ground. Everything sped up, bro. And I'm like, doo, 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 doo. I got feel when I hit like my, my head hit the ground, my shoulders, my knees, my hands. I got up, I felt like I did like a line of blow, I was like, whoa, whoa, holy shit, I was hyped, boy, not like hype, but my adrenaline was pumping, and um, I picked my moped up, and I was going down the road, because there was a paddy wagon I seen, I guess he must have seen it happen, so I was like, my moped out of the road, the dude hit me, he was driving a Chevy Tahoe, it was this little ginger man, and he was like, oh my god, I'm gonna go to hell, I hit a child of the Lord, and I'm so sorry, and he's sitting there actually crying. So I'm like getting pissed, bro. I'm like, why the fuck are you crying, bro? He's like, what do you mean why I'm crying? I just hit a kid. This, this, and that. I said, yeah, you just hit me, bro. You just said it. Stop fucking crying, bro. You just ran. Like, I was getting pissed. You feel me? So the cop gets out of the paddy wagon now. And he walks over. And he starts taking down this dude's information. And he tells the dude he can leave. Now, this was the most unprofessional-ass cop ever. He puts my little name down on a piece of paper. I tell him I'm 16 years old. And, uh, I basically, like, tell, like, my phone's in the moped seat and all that. Like, I can't contact nobody because, like, it's my, my keys have snapped off in the moped. Like, it's, like, snap, bro. So, um, fucking, the, the cop looks at the, he's let me see, he looks at the keys, he's like, oh, yeah, it snapped. And I'm like, oh, wow, yeah. Like, thanks, Captain Obvious. Like, I didn't say that. I probably fucking should have, you know what I'm saying? I was so, like, mad, bro. He was like, what a dick, what a dick thing to say. And, uh, so he basically looks at me, he's like, what am I making you nervous? Why are you shaking for it? And then I'm like, I just got hit by a car, dude. What do you mean? Why? Why am I shaking? What? What kind of question is that? And then he's like, oh, I guess that's good reasoning. Like, why would that not be good reasoning, bro? You seen me get hit. You just let the guy go that was crying because he's talking about hitting me. So he doesn't even let me use his phone or nothing, bro. He just hops back in his paddy wagon and dips off. I'm downtown where I live. It's like all these college like like bars and shit, you know what I'm saying? I got a call because I just hit this too hard. <coughs> oh, damn. And uh, so I was seen this group of girls walking past. So I asked him, I said, excuse me, can I use your phone? Now, I'm covered up with blood and road rash, bro. My palms are ate up. There's blood on my shoulder. My shirt's ripped. I got a little bit of blood like on the side of my forehead. My knees are ripped up, bro. My arms are bleeding. My elbows are bleeding. She turns her Snapchat camera around on me. And she's like, this fucking guy's asking me to use my phone. What the fuck? And, like, keeps walking. 
I was I was actually dumbfounded, bro. So I'm sitting there like I gotta find something to do, bro. Like like get, like to get home, bro. So uh, I start grabbing like my moped and I start walking down to this little restaurant. And I ended up calling my brother to call my dad because I couldn't remember his number. Now my brother ended up telling my dad that I got arrested because I told him about the cop. So my dad went around to police stations and the juvenile place looking for me. I wasn't even there type shit. So eventually I called my brother again and I clarified to him where I was at because my dad wasn't there and he told me what happened. So my dad ended up just picking me up that night. And nothing ever happened there. No court cases ever came in that fucking, that shit, bro. Nobody ever contacted me because of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, my dad said I should have went to the hospital, but I was honestly scared, you know what I'm saying? I had weed in the moped seat and all that, and I didn't want to do all that. But, um, yeah, bro, that was the time I got hit by a car. I do not recommend it, bro. I mean, uh, it was a good little, like, story to tell, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh... I'll kind of watch out for bikers out there, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people don't look out for them. I know how it is, bro. It's a scary word out there on a bike, man. So if you see a biker on the road, man, show him some love and don't ride his ass, man. Please, you know what I mean? It's 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 uncomfortable when you're on a like a like on a like when you're when you're the dude getting your ass rode on a like a motorcycle or a moped or something like that. But uh, yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching. If you liked the video, hey, go ahead and leave a like. If you didn't, that's all right. You're entitled to your own opinion, even if you're wrong. <laughs> I appreciate y'all for watching. I'm going to get off here. Peace.